tribe again. How is everyone? S Rug says, how are you girl? Girl. It's been a week. <clears throat> My voice still isn't the same. How's that moon belt says, hey, hey, how are you? I'm good, dude. I'm good. S Rug says, I miss you. No, I missed you more. Trust me. Tasha's here, giving some purple or blue hearts. Thank you so much. Scott is here saying hi, Jess. Hi, Scott. Janisha says, hey, Jess, how are you? I'm feeling so much better than I was. Thank God. Let me adjust this lighting a little bit. <clears throat> I am Eduardo says, hey, Jess, hope you and Franklin are doing well. We're good. We just came in from a little walk. Um, yeah, Sharika says, I hope you're feeling better. I am feeling so much better. So last week, um, as everyone's coming in, I just wanted to, oh, I forgot to put my account on private. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, last week, I had furniture come in and from Philly. Now, I've been in New Orleans now for three months, technically, officially, and I still had furniture left over at the uh, apothecary, like my other apartment, and finally, I got those things brought in and the movers came in and dropped everything off, um, dropped everything else, dropped everything off on Monday. And then Monday I started working, Tuesday I went hard, Wednesday I went hard, Wednesday I, by the end of the day I was wiped out. And by Thursday and Friday I was just sick. I got sick and like a flu or something. So um, one of my friends, Franklin, I know he's chewing in, in like dry plants right now. Come here, come. One of my friends came over and had a virus, <laughs> and I cooked for everyone. I made some snacks and stuff. Just had some people over at my at my place, and that was one of the gifts that he left behind was <laughs> his little bacteria. So shout out to you, Alan, if you're watching right now. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. My voice is a little um, raspy right now just because I'm still, you know, I've been vlogging and blogging and filming. Franklin! I know he's chewing in my plans right now. Come here, what are you doing? Stop that, don't do that. You want a snacky? What's this? What can I give him right now? Here, play with this, come here. Go play with that, yay. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely feeling a lot better, but it, you know, I needed, I needed that time, but it feels like it's been forever, and you know, I'm just happy to be back. So, okay, I do have some cards that I pulled out and just for those of you guys that are brand new because I, I feel like there are some new, oh my God, Haley's Heavily medit Meditated says, my boyfriend and I just broke up five minutes ago. You know what, I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, move forward, you know, just keep surrounding yourself with love and light. It's so interesting today. I just felt this like need to like pause during my blog and during pulling charts just to like put some good vibes out there. I just felt like, I don't know what everyone else was going through. I don't know if I was just preparing mentally and spiritually for this time that we were gonna spend together, but I just felt called to kind of um, take a pause and go to my altar, which is finally here, light some candles, set some intention. In fact, if you see me looking over, oh, we're top live already, that was fast. If you see me looking over in the corner, it's because I have some candle magic going still to this day. So for those of you guys that really, you know, need some good vibes when it comes to love, and that's specifically what it is that I wanna talk about. It's, it's interesting because not last week, but the week before that. Last week, I obviously didn't do any videos, but the week before that, there was a lot of um, messages that are coming through when it came to people in loving relationships, like love relationships and also creativity. So people who work in the arts and music and any type of unique expression, whatever that is, whatever that looks like for you. And then for those of you guys who are not co connected to the arts, then it was also this other aspect of love and relationships and how you relate to others. And, um, that's still kind of trickling over into this week, even though it's been two weeks total and the sun and Mercury are moving it through such detached signs like Aquarius. But 
if you want to check out the message that I posted for not last week, but the week before that, when it comes to Aquarius and relationships and love and, you know, uniquely expressing yourself, then that's up on your YouTube or that's on the YouTube channel for you guys to check out. But, um, yeah, just collectively as a whole, I really want to just start off by grounding and I want to set intention and I want to, for all of us to enter into a space of exclusive love right now and sharing that within our tribe and building that within our tribe, within our community. Um, again, I, I, you know, lit some candles on my altar with the intent of building love, not just for myself, because there's a lot of love around me right now, but for all of us. So if you want to, um, you know, just join me really quickly before we get started. I think that's how I want to like start this Astro Live chat is just by focusing on building love. And um, not even if you are wanting to attract love into your life or attract creativity, creative energy, even if you want to enter into a space of creation, meaning like you're expressing yourself and you're moving from your heart, all of that needs to come from the heart and all of it needs to come from the sacral chakra. Even though you're wanting to receive it, just go ahead and give it out. So I just ask that you guys join me in this. Feel free, if you want to, you can just, um, you don't have to participate in this if you're not called to, but for those of you guys who um, do feel called, again, we're focusing on love right now focusing on the heart. Even if there's things that are coming through that feel painful or that feel heavy, we're just gonna go ahead and release it, experience it, we're gonna release it. As you're breathing, focus back on the heart, focus on that love, and everybody, there should be about, I'm, my eyes are closed right now, so there should be about like 300 people, maybe a little under 300, maybe around 300 people who are joined in. So just every single person that's a part of this tribe right now and a part of our circle, let's just give love to them. No matter what they're going through, no matter where they're at in the world, let's just give love right now. Moving from your heart. And give it to each other and just realize that this is positive. Realize that it is good. Realize that it's for your highest and greatest good and just be open to accepting it. Even if it's hard for you to accept love in other spaces, or even if it's hard for you to express yourself in other spaces, whether it be communicating your authentic self, your authentic vision, your authentic voice, just realize and know that in this space right now, it is sacred, it is safe, and it's for you just to be able to, to give it out there, to push it out there. And even as I'm doing this now, I just feel you know, that vibration, that energy just kind of flowing, which is good. That means that we're all, we're all in sync, we're all in alignment. So just go ahead and give that to others. For those of you guys that need love right now and need a little bit of help, don't worry, your time is coming, you'll receive it. That'll be in a few moments, but just right now, even if you're lacking it, even if you need it, just give it, just give it, just give it out to everyone else. Just focus on giving love to other people. Focus on giving people a voice. Focus on authentic expression. Focus on unlimited, unlimited flow, unlimited release. I don't have to hold back anymore. Just give it, just giving it, just giving it to others. What is it that, that you're hearing? Don't type it out right now. You don't need to capture it, just receive it. What is it that you're hearing? What is that you're, when you are thinking about like the voice, when you're hearing about this authentic expression, this authentic, you know, communication, what is it that you're hearing? What are you seeing? How do you feel? You don't have to talk about it, just experience it. Allow yourself to receive it. Any good vibes that are coming through right now, just go ahead and receive them, but also give it back. Say thank you and gratitude and give it back. Give it to each other. Again, we're gonna keep that energy going. We're gonna keep that positivity and that positive energy flowing. We're gonna keep the love flowing. Okay, now we're gonna enter into a space where you yourself are receiving that love. All that energy that we built up, all that energy that we just gave, that we put out in the universe right now, if it's for our highest and greatest good, we receive it now in this moment. We say thank you. Thank you to our tribe. Thank you to the divine. Thank you for our angels, our ancestors, and our guides for being here now and giving us this moment and this breath just to be able to connect with others on a level that's so deep, on a spiritual level, 
Thank you for giving us a safe space. Thank you for allowing us to receive. Thank you for allowing us to have this breath right now in this moment. And we just receive this love. We receive this feeling of safety and we realize that it's okay for us to communicate and to express ourselves from our heart. We may not know what the next path is. We may not know the next step, but either way, we just allow ourselves to be in a position to receive. And just having that right now is a blessing. Just go ahead and allow yourself to receive that love that we put out there. Hopefully you guys are feeling it because I'm feeling it. Thank you for this moment. All right. That was nice. Oh, we have 400 people. Wow, I thought we were at 300. So, that was so nice. We should do that more often. So the one thing that I want to talk to you guys about which makes a lot of sense after I just did that um, like love exchange, is this act of forgiveness. And when I say forgiveness, I'm not saying exclusively forgiving others. Um, I know that it's the new year. I know that it's 2019 and that we're not focusing on the past. In fact, most of us have kind of let, left the past in the past. But it just kind of reminds me of what it was that we were talking about last, not last week, but the week before that, where, you know, even though things have happened to us physically in the past or mentally, and we can, in our heads and in our minds, lay it to rest and allow it to be we still carry the effect of that on our hearts and on our spirit. And I think that's why it's so important that we focus on love right now. This isn't just exclusively romantic love. It could be platonic love. It could be love from our family. Um, the one thing that's coming through and that came through during that meditation just now is how even people who have positive intent for us and want to protect us because they're coming from a space of love, sometimes their actions are not loving. Um, another thing is sometimes when we love something or we love someone, sometimes we're not ready. Sometimes we're not prepared. Sometimes we're not whole. And we have to make decisions based upon what we know within that moment, which is what is right for us in that moment. And the impact of that, what occurs because of that, whether it be disappointment or whether it be success, you know, whether it be sadness, whether it be a gain, whether it be loss, whether it be happiness. And with that, you know, there's this vibe. That's why I'm like, I really want us to start off with giving love to each other first and then being in space to give to ourselves because sometimes it's so easy for us to give to others, but it's harder for us to receive. It's harder for us to be in a position to receive. And the word that came through this week was <laughs> forgiveness. And when we are in a space where, or at least at least what I've been, so while I was sick, I just, you know, pretty much just lying in my bed <laughs> and like journaling and just talking to God and talking to my angels and talking to myself and just asking myself questions and asking spirit questions. And, um... I, I realized how proud I was of myself and how much I have done and the decisions that I made, but I also realized that I needed to forgive myself and it just was a, a constant thing that was coming through, which was forgiving myself of not knowing, forgiving myself for not being ready, forgiving myself for not being braver, forgiving myself for reacting 
forgiving myself for not being perfect, forgiving myself for not being whole in all ways, in all ways, forgiving myself for needing time to learn, forgiving myself for the mistakes that have happened. It's so interesting because I posted this on Instagram earlier and if it, and I just realized like if it wasn't for the mistakes that I've made in the past or that you made in the past, you wouldn't have learned. So you would have inevitably, you would have inevitably made a mistake moving forward in the future. And if it wasn't for that mistake during that moment, you wouldn't have learned. And it's like these things that we just pick up along the way these experiences, these little gems, this person, this job, this dog, this jacket, this lottery ticket, these things, all of these things that we're just walking down this our path in our lives, we just keep on picking these things up. Some things are gonna be good. Some things you're gonna continue to carry because they serve a purpose. And some things are gonna hurt you, some things are going to not serve a purpose. Some things are going to be distractions. Sometimes you're going to pick something up because you can't face this other thing. Sometimes you're going to pick this thing up or you're going to try to pick, pick this thing up, but it's elusive. It keeps escaping you. And then you're just like, you start chasing it. And then you spend time chasing after this thing. You end up missing moments. But the reality is, is like all of those tiny things, they all shape up your experience, they all shape up these lessons. And that's why it's like so important right now for us to enter into a space where we are forgiving ourselves and we're just forgiving ourselves for not knowing, you know, this was okay for me to pick up or this wasn't okay for me to pick up or this was okay for me to invite into my life. This was not okay for me to invite into my life. All those things are experiences that are there to serve a purpose and the purpose is to guide you and to give you lessons. So before I, e I even get started, I want us to collectively as a whole just forgive yourself for not being perfect, for not knowing the answer, for not knowing you know, what's next, for making decisions that you think are for your highest and greatest good but you don't know, you don't know the outcome yet. The only way for you to know the outcome is by you actually going through the experience. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, it's up to you guys to decide if you want to sit with that a little longer, you know, outside of the Astro Live chat. <clears throat> and then focus on, you know, writing, your, writing a list down of, okay, what is it that you need to forgive yourself for? Forgive yourself for being scared. Forgive yourself for not having the answer. Forgive yourself for having an answer, but maybe not speaking up on it. Forgive yourself for not speaking up on it. Forgive yourself for speaking out. You know what I mean? Like, just go down the list. The other thing that I'm seeing and what it was that I was feeling is the word that came through was the word begin. And it just seems like, and I said this in my, my um, astro video, my astrology video that's on my YouTube right now, but... It just feels like when I say the word begin, maybe it's not exclusively like this new journey. For some of you guys, it will be a new journey because with the eclipses, it really sets some things into motion with the last full moon and the new moon before that. We have a new moon coming up on the horizon, but it's the eclipses that really sets things into, into motion. And Again, yeah, for some of you guys, a new door has opened up and it, it comes with creativity, it comes with music, it comes with expression, it comes with art, it comes with speaking out. The others, it would be love and emphasis around the heart and emphasis around relationships and dating and healing with the heart. And what I'm seeing is, you know, if there's something on your soul right now, if there's something on your spirit, that you've been sitting on. It's almost like this little egg and you're this little chicken and you're sitting, okay, Justina Lorena says, second chance has been coming up past few weeks for me, girl. I hear that. 
but um, it's almost like you're sitting on this egg. And I don't see it as totally new energy, even though 2019 is relatively new. I still see us kind of like closing some chapters and stuff like that. But um, part, of, part of my throat is like starting to crack a little bit. But what I'm seeing is, um, you know, this little egg, this little project. What is it that you're sitting on? And you could have a lot of stuff going on in your environment. If you think about a chicken coop, I don't know why that's coming through, but if you're thinking about a chicken coop, there's a lot of like extra activity going on in the chicken coop. There's a lot of movement and there's, um, you know, kind of like a, you know, one thing that just has just been, you've been sitting on, that you've been focusing on, that you've been thinking about, whether it be a person that's been on your mind, whether it be a job, whether it be a project that you want to, you want to, um, you know, take to the next level that you want to start to invest in, whatever that egg is. And I'm curious, um, feel free to go ahead and drop an emoji and in order to say like this is what it is that you know I've been feeling. Maybe, maybe if you're thinking about love, drop a heart emoji. If you're thinking about work, drop you know an emoji that reminds you of work. If you're thinking about money, drop an emoji that's connected to money. Okay, so Scott's saying it's new beginnings for him. Talk to twin says there hasn't been one specific thing for me. Is it multiple things or just you just can't relate? Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of hearts. Good. See, I'm. Defat vegan says work and the heart. Okay, Taylor Weber is putting up a crystal ball, so I'm connecting that to intuition. Haitian Beauty is thinking about money and love. Dominique is money and writing. I've been feeling like opening a shop. That's my egg. Yes. Life emoji. It's me again thinking about money and, and um, hearts. We have hearts studying and travel. Hearts, hearts, all of the above, all of the above says don't call me Honda. Money, work, and love. Pandora's Chaos says I love the example trying to get that damn egg to hatch. Don't force it. Don't force it. From Manic says love it for the self and relationships. Had an experience on the 22nd. Yep. And now I'm trying to figure things out. I bet it was on the 22nd. Um, <clears throat> photography and career. <clears throat> Writing and creating products, says Deck Dreams. Yeah, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of love and money and security. Hurt and Cal says building a home. That also comes from the heart, too, interestingly enough. Nikki Val says, I think the hardest part is not trying to force it. Always. Well, you want, want to know why? When you start forcing things, it's because you don't trust that it's going to happen. When you find yourself forcing things, it's because a part of you is doubting, is this going to happen? So I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that it does. When, in reality, half of you is, you know, all about creation, and the other part is, you know, being able to do, and the other part is all, all about being able to receive. So if you find yourself keep pushing, 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 the, rea the, the problem is not the creation. The problem is you trusting. Because it's going to be created regardless. But it's just a matter of you trusting. It's always about our perception, how we're perceiving things. Morgan's Craft says, I feel called out. <laughs> always, I'm good for that. Serotonin. You, girl, you know I love your name, by the way. As a psychology major, I love your name. But she said, oh shit, that was genius, Jess. Yeah, girl, it just comes from my spirit. And I just share that with you. But um, whatever it is, right? So you guys are talking a lot about love. And again, I'm working candle magic right now when it comes to just what I'm manifesting in my life currently at the moment. My altar is finally here from Philadelphia, so I got my, I, the first thing that I did was put candles up and to, you know, bless it and just to get it acclimated to this new environment. But it's interesting because if there's someone or something that's on your heart, let's say <laughs> someone says, he's, Isa Boo, the wolf, says the problem is you trusting. That is fucking powerful. I'm here for these uh, these gems. Dropping these gems on you guys. Um, but if there's something that, or let's say it's a someone and it's a relationship and love. If there's something that's been sitting on your heart, and then this is going to shake you guys to your core, hopefully not. But if there's something that's been sitting on your heart, if there's a person that's been sitting on your heart, and you've been thinking about them, then this is the time this week, and I know this is really tough, but this is the time this week in order to make a move on that. 
Now, there's a few things that are supporting this. Number one is the fact that Mars, the planet of action, is meeting with Jupiter. That was on the 25th, but we're still kind of under the influence of that because Mars moves relatively slow. Let me go ahead and pull that chart up. Mars is about our action. And Mars is moving through the sign of Aries. Now, for this is when things get a little weird and wonky, and it depends on your personal chart. But again, Mars sitting in the sign of Aries is very masculine. So for men, if there's someone or something that's been sitting on your heart or something that when it comes to your creativity, when it comes to your art, it's time for you to make a move on that. If you want to sit and, and let it you know, sit on that egg, it will, you'll squash it. It'll never be able to come to fruition. It'll never come to life. You have to be bold, you have to be forward, you have to be aggressive because this is the year for men to be men, women to be women, masculine to be masculine, and feminine to be feminine. And I'm speaking in the eyes of, I'm speaking in the eyes of spirituality and energy. I'm not talking based upon, um, you know, like gender roles. So when it comes to women, if you have to put yourself out there a little bit and be vulnerable and to make yourself available, when it comes to love, it's time for you to be in that space of vulnerability. And that means that, you know, again, there's a lot of energy that's going on lately when it comes to like, you know, people being independent and people being, you know, moving from their egos. You have to enter into a space where you're just allowing yourself to receive. If there's someone or something that's on your mind, it's time for you to act on it. You actually have to do the do. If you feel something on your heart, if you feel something in your gut, it's time for you to react on that. That doesn't mean that you force it. It just means that you're, you're moving from your heart. You're moving from, you know, this is what I love. This is what I want in my life. Meaning like this, if this is the egg that it is that you want, if it's, you know, that relationship, there's someone on your heart, then act upon that. Men, I said this last week, it's time for you to act if you haven't already. This means that you have to put yourself in a space where you say, hey, I'm available, or hey, I want to do this, or hey, I want you, I want to invest in this, when it comes to creativity, when it comes to arts, when it comes to love. Instead of, again, planting your seed all over, you want to focus on one thing and that you love and give it your all so that it can build up, so that it can invest. There's a lot of energy that's moving through the sign of Capricorn, and there's a lot of energy that's connected to the, to the, um, the planet Saturn. So you want to make sure that you're committed. You want to make sure that you're building. This comes from, again, your creative projects. And it comes from your work, moving and expressing yourself and putting, in your putting yourself in a space where you are being called, where you're being seen, where you're being assertive, where you are present versus you kind of falling, falling, falling behind, falling in the shadows. Allow your own personal light to be shining. Okay. Um, the other thing is that I'm seeing people coming from a space where you, you're telling the truth. You're telling the truth about what it is that's on your heart. In order for you to do that, you have to sit with your heart to know what it is that your heart is feeling. And then you have to be bold. You have to be assertive, meaning like fearless when it comes to expressing that. You're not forcing your will. You're just, you're just stating your will. You're putting it out there. You're letting it be known. Okay. So I hope that that makes sense for you guys. Um, the other thing is that I think I posted this last, a few days ago. Yeah, nature never rushes or for forces and yet everything blo blooms all on its own and with its own timing. The same is true for you. These small steps that you guys take, they make a difference. They really do make a difference. And you don't have to, sometimes when we have this like goal that we have for ourselves, it's this ultimate goal. And when we haven't hit it, when we haven't hit that mark, we're like, we're not there yet, we're not there yet, and we start to ignore or, or we don't look at what we have accomplished. So we end up pushing, 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 striving for more, not realizing all that has already happened. <laughs> yeah, She Wolf Living says, yes, I remember that one. Yeah, it was not too long, long ago. This was two days ago, actually. It feels like a little longer than that. When I made that post, I, was <laughs> I wasn't feeling well that day. The other thing that I see is with um, Mars moving through the sign of Aries, this is, again, it's focusing on our action. It's focused on what you can do. It's focused on masculine energy. 
allow yourself to be pursued for some of you guys and I know this is like so if many of you guys you want like more specific things I can't give you a more specific answer because I'm not looking at your chart exclusively I'm looking at the chart as a whole some people are going to be in a position where they have to um, uh, put themselves out there and again that's masculine energy that doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a man but it's putting yourself out there and being assertive and being dominant the other side is going to fall back into this feminine energy and just is glowing just being there being able to um, be f like feminine be pursued because Mars is looking to seek Mars is looking to accomplish Mars is looking to um, you know not gather but he's looking to uh, <clears throat> not dominate but just pr like um, pers I guess pursue is the only word that I can work with right now because it's the only thing that's coming coming into my mind <laughs> I hope this makes sense yeah Nikki Vell says okay allow yourself to be pursued what I'm struggling with yeah she wolf living says becoming more seen oh that's always so hard to do um, Krilla Chris says being bold with ourselves absolutely what I mean by being bold with yourself is by knowing who you are and this is what I said in my video for so additional love layer to this message is on my YouTube channel but it's you looking in the mirror you looking at your strengths you looking at your weaknesses and taking the beauty the essence of who you are sitting with that allowing that to shine so that you you've made yourself available you have put your gift out there you put your light out there and allowing whatever that is to come in and to pursue pursue you to choose you to seek you to find you to invest in you to build build on you okay um, Ekin writer says I'm struggling with that too I know Celine Marcy says I, I'm probably I just put put your name name I'm sure she says I'm a Virgo so it's so hard I understand but as a Virgo I'm a Virgo too but it doesn't matter your sign it doesn't matter your strengths or your weaknesses you just have to get used to it it's learning how to master all aspects of energy so that you are a constant co-creator so that you're constantly in a space you know at the right place at the right time receiving abundance receiving clarity receiving like direction receiving guidance instead of you having to force it and fight it now again there's two sides to this because and it's not like I'm seeing Gemini energy within the chart I'm just seeing two polar opposites there's the masculine and there's the feminine there's the masculine side that actually does need to dominate that actually does need to put put themselves out there and say you know what I've been thinking about you I I like you this is what I'm doing this is my gift so in love it's I've been thinking about you you've been on my heart you've been on my mind and I need to put myself out there and I need to say these things to you I need to connect with you when it comes to creativity and, and the arts and expression and being unique and being different that's when you say look this is my talent this is my skill this is my gift look at me invest in me this is my business card this is my Instagram promotion it's not forcing it's effortless so that's the masculine side of it now for those of you guys that are on the feminine side you've already done that you've already done everything that you can do um, good and bad so forgive yourself for the bad and then acknowledge the good but move forward this is when we're entering into a space of the Empress because Mars has to chase something Mars has to go and seek something but if that something doesn't exist he's gonna spin he's gonna spin that energy is gonna be built up it's gonna be frustrating so there has to be something that is worth being um, given that's worth being like per, um, worked for that's work worth putting the work into so maybe that's you maybe this could be something different in um, in your life maybe there's one area of your life where you need to allow yourself to be received you already put your light out there you already put your talents out there now allow them to pursue you but in another area of your life that's where you need to be a little bit more dominant and put yourself out there that's where you need to step up into this masculine energy but it's the opposite of what you have done in the past does that make sense <laughs> Mm, sorry guys my contact <clears throat> okay Zaka Sheik says definitely feeling like releasing fears and just trusting the opportunities and the open energy that I feel is here so so used to feeling like I'm not working hard enough now I feel like I can trust exactly that's the other thing too let me pull my cards for you guys and this even emphasizes even further oh. the first card that I pulled out for today sorry I'm such a mess right now 
Mermaid Reefer 1993 says, Jess, we want the haunting YouTube videos, please. Who's we? <laughs> it's up there, but just also keep in mind, the video is coming. I did do it, but when I was editing it, that's when my stuff started coming in from Philadelphia, and I had to take care of myself first before I could edit that video, but it is there, and it's just, like, it's about 20 minutes of, you know, the paranormal, like, trying to see the paranormal activity, and I was watching it, and, you know, it's just, like, it, honestly, if you ever looked at video edits, or paranormal video edits, like, full video edits, if you guys have ever done paranormal research, you're literally staring into the screen for 20 minutes, 24 hours, or whatever, eight hours, it's a long time, and just waiting, you know, to see an orb and stuff like that, and it was a quiet night that night, so I have to go back and revisit it, but that will come up, but anyways, back to the cards that it is that I pulled. The first that card that I pulled is Open Your Heart to Love, and this is from Doreen Virtue's Ascended Masters. The reason why I chose to work with this is because this is one of my decks of cards that came in from Philadelphia, and I just, it was one of, one of the decks that, one of the Oracle decks that I used to work with a lot, and since I haven't had it, I missed it, so that was the first one that I wanted to get my hands on. And again, this is what it is that I was saying before when it just emphasized even more what it was that I was seeing which is entering into this new territory, this new beginning, where, again, with sun moving through the sign of Aquarius, and go back and visit my other video that I posted, not last week, but the week before that, which is, you know, Aquarius energy is very independent, but, and it kind of does its own thing, but it's almost like this energy of, like, emph emphasizing love and seeing what, where other people have won in their lives and then learning from them and learning from their experiences and bringing that to yourself. When I see open your heart to love, this again goes back to what it was that I was saying last, the week before that and last week and this week, which is this essence around opening your, opening your heart up to love, opening your heart up to express and, expression. And again, this goes back to art and creativity. Art comes from your heart. So does love, and it's whatever it is that you want to make of it, whatever it is that you want to create, whether it be art, whether it be romance, whether it be love, all of these things are creations, creations that come pouring out from the heart, if you're doing it authentically. Um, open your heart up to love. This is, again, opening your heart up to being vulnerable, forgiving yourself, again, for the things that have happened in the past, because all of those things are lessons that have served their purpose, and you know, you don't have to do things the same way. You can do things differently and move differently. You can change your mind as much as you need to and, you know, um, you know, move differently, step differently. But again, you don't have to be a perfect person. The, the areas of your life that you have opened your heart up to love in the past, it is what it is. Maybe they failed. Maybe they, there was a win. Maybe certain aspects of that relationship died. Maybe the entire relationship died. At the end of the day, everything is so open to change. But what I'm saying is that this energy that's been focus on, focusing on trusting yourself, trusting your journey, trusting others, when you allow yourself to be in a space where you're vulnerable, people sense that and they're able to trust you. And then they will open their heart up to you. But at the end of the day, again, it's like I said, it's time to begin. The cards that I pulled out, um, I'm sorry, the message that came through, the word that came through was begin. It says, start moving on what your soul has asked of you, on what your heart has asked of you, what your spirit is asking of you. If there's someone or something that you love that's been sitting on your mind that you've been wanting to invest in or that you're interested in or that you want to try out, you have to trust your path. These are some other things too. The word trust came through, open your heart back to love, meditate were the three major cards that jumped out. And they were the ones that were saying, like, whatever, is, whatever it is that you care about, whatever it is that you love, is worth the risk. Um, and, oh, the other thing that I said is, if there's the project, start building the project. If you're thinking about someone, act on it. Don't wait for them to text you. Don't wait for them to text you. Don't wait for them to text you. <laughs> Don't wait for them to call you. Don't wait for them to email you. Don't wait for them to check out what's going on on your Instagram. Don't wait for them to like your fucking videos. If you're thinking about them, put, 
put yourself out there and say something. You have to be assertive, you have to be bold, you have to trust, again, that the feeling that you're feeling on your heart is very real, it's very valid, especially when you sat in meditation and you allowed the dust to kind of settle. Again, you don't have to be a perfect person. I put this on my personal Instagram. Um, for those of you guys that aren't following, feel free to follow me on my personal, it's Jessica X Alexandria. But the message that I had there is the same thing that keeps coming through. It's like, no one's expecting perfection of you. The universe is just asking you to try. So if that's the case, if the universe is not expecting perfection from you, then that means that you are um, allowed and you have permission by the universe, by the divine, to make some fucking mistakes for your better self, for for your own personal growth. You have to trust that. So if you made some mistakes in the past, if you made some decisions in the past, and that's something that I was sitting with myself this last week and the week before that, which is like, you know what? I tried. I tried in this area of my life, I tried. Was I scared? Yeah, did it work out? Some aspects did, some aspects didn't. Would I do some things differently? Absolutely, but I trust what it is that my heart is feeling. I trust what you know what, I, what it is that I'm calling in. I'm trusting what it is that I want, and instead of me second guessing it, instead of me trying to figure it out, I am going to allow myself to enter into a space where I'm trusting and I'm moving from my heart, okay? Candice, can, Candy's Candy says, looks like it's go time. Yeah, it totally is. But again, you know, some of you guys, like I said in the beginning, and all of it kind of falls forward now, falls together now, is Mars moving through the sign of Aries is all about, you know, masculine. Masculine has to make a move. And again, that it's area of love and it's area of creativity when it comes to art and artistic expression. <laughs> You're allowed to change your mind. You're allowed to make some mistakes. You're allowed to make a decision and then be like, oh, nope, got to switch it up. The universe doesn't ask of you perfection. It asks for you at least to try and to put it out there. Mouse on the Moon is repeating after me, and she says the universe is asking you to try. That's it. That's it. You even trying, again, what I wrote down here is tell the truth, which means this is what my heart feels. I've been thinking about you. Tell the truth. I want to make music. Tell the truth. I want to be a part of this. I want to create with you guys. I want to be your friend. I want to be more involved. This is too much. The tell the truth. This is too much. I don't say yes to this. Tell the truth. I'm scared to say yes to this. But I still want to do it. But I'm scared. Tell the truth. Those small, whoops, those small steps are, they make the largest difference. Again, the universe doesn't ask you to have all of the answers. The universe understands and the divine understands and universe understands and your guys understand that each step of the way, you're gonna pick up on these different experiences. You're gonna pick up on this person. You're gonna say no to this person. You're gonna pick up on this opportunity. You're gonna say no to this opportunity. And at some point down the line, you might change your mind. Especially when the eclipses happen, it starts putting things into motion. You start seeing things, you start realizing. So if the universe understands that and spirit understands it, then that means there's room for flexibility. And if there's room for flexibility, there's room for growth. And when there's room for growth, there's room for change. And when there's room for change, there's room for transformation. And when there's room for transformation, we're, we're ready and we're working with magic. That's when anything can happen. So that's why I'm saying, you know, you guys, open your heart to love, open your heart to trust, open your heart to meditating and to sitting with this and to put a risk out there. Some of you guys, again, you're going to have to be the first person. If you've been thinking about it, if you've been hearing it, if you've been like, damn, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, stop fucking wishing, do, do. If you, if you guys are questioning too, you're like, well, Jess, I thought that 2019 was the year of Empress and was the year of receiving and the year of, you know, effortless and me not forcing. I'm not asking you to force. There's a difference between forcing and there's a difference between inspired action. And I really want to invite you guys to check out my IGTV video that I made on that. I swear to you, I'm not trying to self-promote, but I really do put information out there to help you left and right whenever you need it as you need it. And that could be in that moment or it could be something that you need three months down the line or three years down the line or whatever. But it's there for you. So if you need help in that reminder of how to be in a space of not forcing but flowing, then that video is there for you. 
But either way, if it's sitting in your brain, if it's sitting on your heart, take that small step. Literally, it could be so small, but at least you fucking did it. Because there is this action that needs to happen. The other thing is on the 30th, the sun and Mercury meet. Mercury is the mind. Mercury is communication. And this is when a conversation needs to be had. Even as I say this, I'm scared. <laughs> because in my personal life, in my personal life, I had this opportunity to kind of fall on my lap. And I'm scared about it. And it's going to be amazing if I say yes to it. Um, logically, it makes sense to say yes to it. On paper, it makes sense to say yes to it. From a business perspective, it makes sense to say yes to it. But I don't operate always from logic. And I don't operate from... what makes sense all the time. I operate on faith. I operate on love. And I just always have to keep asking myself, Jess, what are your goals? What is your goal? What is your purpose? And when I know that answer, which I do, that's when I make my decision. Oh my God, that makes sense too because I wrote down too, looking in this mirror and asking your true self, who are you? Who am I? That's what I wrote down. See, the pieces fall together for me too. And basically what this is, is it's looking at yourself and looking at the reflection of yourself in the mirror. And this is a vulnerability activity because it's when you look at yourself on a spirit, damn, my candle just went out, you guys. Sorry, like I said before, I've got, um candle magic going on in my altar right now and one of the candles literally just went out as I said that meanwhile the other one's still burning all right cool good to know right <laughs> but when you look in the mirror and you again this is a meditative activity meditation and it's a heart focused activity this is when you look and it's honesty, like trusting yourself and being honest with yourself, being in that sacred space. When you look in the mirror and you see your reflection and you ask yourself, Jessica, who are you? Or Jennifer, who are you? Or Elizabeth, who are you? Or um, Mark, who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? Essentially what it is that you're asking yourself is like, what do I want? What is the core of my being? What is the essence of my being? And when you see that, when you see that answer, that is what you should pursue. When you see that answer clear, and again, it comes through this meditative, heart-focused activity of just asking yourself that question. Meditation does not always look the same. Meditation does not mean that you just like zero out and you know, disconnect from all thoughts. Sometimes it's connecting to that thought. Sometimes it's connecting to that answer. So this is that next level of meditation where you sit in the mirror. I can't believe that candle just went out. Um, yeah, when you sit in that mirror and you ask yourself, you look at your reflection in the mirror for an hour and you ask yourself, who am I? What is it that I want? What are my goals? Whatever it is that you see, whatever it is that comes through, is the essence of who you are and what it is that you want. You can't force that answer. You shouldn't try to force that answer. You should just allow it to, to, to manifest. You should allow it to materialize. And whatever it is, is worth the risk of you putting yourself out there, of you taking a baseball bat to your ego <laughs> and just beating your ego aside and stepping from a space of love and trust and divine inspired action. Whatever it is that materializes there, let's say you want to make art. Let's say you want to make music. And again, I'm, I'm focusing on these creative projects because that's what's coming through. It's this create, creative energy. It's something doing things differently. Again, maybe it's owning a spiritual shop. Someone said that. Like creating something that's different, something that's maybe yoga. Whatever it is that comes from the heart, when it comes to your business, when it comes to your brand, when it comes to music, when it comes to creation, when that materializes, whatever it takes 
to make that happen and to put yourself in a space of taking steps, even small steps towards it, whatever it is, is worth it. Small steps make a difference. Now, when it comes to love, some of you guys, full fucking disclosure here, you already know me. I'm a Virgo. I'm going to speak to you real. But some of you guys, yeah, someone just said owning a yoga studio. Siren Lux says, yes, I've been working so hard on my shop. I bet you have, girl. <laughs> um, Later Babe says, sis, you speak from your heart so beautifully. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. But, okay, back to what it was that I was saying. Some of you guys are in love right now. And that's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. But as much as I'm saying move from your heart, there's some things that you are in love with that are not for you. Hear me when I say this. Be patient with me. Some things that you are currently in love with, even as I'm saying move from your heart, are not for you. It's because a part of you recognized whatever it is that you are in love with, this person, a part of you recognized an aspect of yourself. Even as I'm saying this, I feel my heart kind of stirring. And I feel my heart kind of speeding up a little bit. Some of you guys have recognized aspects of your soulmate, your true love, in this one person. So when you start forcing and pushing and trying, you've done all that you can do up until this point. At some point, what it is that you love, you then have to go from a space where you sit back, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you ask yourself, who am I? What do I want? What do I love? What do I want for myself? And you cannot pull in the image of that person that you're in love with. If that's the person, I trust me, they'll come back. Trust me, they'll be there. Trust me, they'll materialize. But you want to disconnect from, you want to not pull your heart away from one person, but it's okay to be in love with someone. It's okay to, to believe in love with someone. But you also have to realize that when you sit in that mirror and you look at yourself honestly and you ask yourself, who am I? I'm an all loving, unconditionally loving being. I allow myself to be vulnerable in the right space. At the right time, I give all of my heart to this one person. I'm a committed person. I'm a loyal person. I'm a devoted person. I'm ride or die. I'm loyal to a, a fault. I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I'm intelligent. I'm hardworking. I know how to cook. I know how to sing. I know how to drive a car without running it off the road. <laughs> like, I'm a good mother. I'm a good provider. Those, that, those are the reality of who you are. But sometimes your heart, even though it, and the reason why, you know, sometimes your heart will fall in love with something or someone, and we're talking about people now, because that's the nature of your being. But if what you love has not chosen you and doesn't love you, then you have to let that go. Trust, trust the process through your meditation and open your heart. <laughs> Angela09 says, no more hitting deer. Girl, that's my spirit animal. Don't hit the deer. But you have to trust and open your heart back up to love again. Because the reality is, is that when you sit in the mirror and you look at your reflection and you ask yourself, you know, who am I? I'm a person who wants to be in love. I'm a person who wants to be in a relationship. I'm a person who, I'm a woman or I'm a man who wants to be a mother, who wants to be a, a, a father. I'm a, a woman. I'm a man who wants to be a, uh, a wife. I'm a man who wants to be a husband. I'm a man who wants to be loyal. I'm a woman who wants to serve one man. I'm a woman who wants to receive love and be served by one man. I'm a man who wants to have one queen. I'm a man who wants to choose one woman who's, des who's worthy of my time. I'm a man who wants to receive my energy, who's not going to take advantage of me, who's not going to try and use me for my resources. I'm a woman who wants, who is hardworking and who's building an empire for myself and wants to share that with someone, not just anyone. I want to choose to share my life with my king. I'm a woman who wants to share my life with my queen. I'm a king who wants to share my life with my king. He's working on that. I'm working on this. Together we bring our empire. I don't care what your sexuality is. I don't care who you love. I don't care that you're in love with someone. All I care is your fucking happiness. 
All I care is that the things that it is that you're choosing, that you're investing in, equally choose you and invest in you. That's what I fucking care about. That's when you look in that mirror and you see yourself and you see these aspects of yourself that are so divine and so worthy and, uh, and valuable and so precious with the right person at the right time, you will build, you will build, you will build. When two people come together in love and trust and vulnerability, they can build. What, what can't they do? What can't they do? It is so good when two people find each other and choose each other. Because you have strengths here, you have strengths here, and those two strengths come together. They choose each other and they build. They build. The universe looks at that and the universe celebrates that. Because the universe says, God damn it, like this is this person's, you know, coming together with this person. And we have a puzzle piece together. Look at the look at the the look at the power that they have that they come together. When when you find your soulmate, when you find your person, there are gonna be moments when you are weak and you can look at your partner and your partner will pull you up because they love you, because they care about you, because they want you to be strong. That is not a bad thing to have. That's, that's too good to have. The universe benefits too much by you having true love. The universe benefits too much, so much, all the much, <laughs> by you having your king, by you having your queen. Open your heart to that love. Open your heart to taking that risk. When you look in the mirror and you see the reflection of yourself saying, this is the reality, this is actually what I want. Instead of being afraid of it, instead of being like, no, 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 and beating it down. The answer is yes. The answer is not no. The answer has always been yes. It has always been yes. It is. Why did, why did my camera just cut out at that point? Um, as I'm saying this though, and let me check my time. We're top live if it even shows me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've said all that I've said, and I said what I said, and I stand with it. The, the reality is, if you're in a relationship right now, that's the last thing I'll say on this. If you're in a relationship right now, and it's not going well, you have the power within you to do the same exercise and to sit in front of the mirror. Your partner doesn't have to actively participate because you doing this, if this per person truly is your soulmate, you doing your work is going to impact them on a soul level too. So it's okay for you to do your work and them not be participating on it. Whether they are busy, whether they're from a different spiritual belief, it doesn't matter. You doing good things for you impacts the partner. You doing bad things impacts the partner and it also impacts you so you just sit and you look at the reflection in your mirror and you say you you say this is who i am this is what i want my love life to be like this is how i want my relationship to be it's always a good thing to ask for two people to come together at some point you guys the last thing that it is that i'm going to say is that just to reiterate my point every step makes a difference Every step makes a difference. You're not perfect. It's okay to not be perfect. And still in your imperfection, you deserve love. And still in your imperfection, you deserve to be invested in and someone will invest in you. So put it out there, call it out. The other thing is um, when you act, you make change. When you act, you create healing. So I just am seeing in the space again of opening your heart to love, calling your king and queen, do it tonight. Send those good vibes my way as well. So that's what I'm in a space of right now. I'm scared with something currently that I'm working on. It is what it is in different areas of my life. As you're putting those good vibes out there, send them my way, send them back to the tribe. Keep this circle going. We'll keep the good vibes going. But either way, just realize that you know it's worth it. The risk is always worth it. That even if you're scared, it's okay. Channel that fear in ways that is constructive and building and you know, just be honest about it. It's okay to be honest about it because that's how your heart feels on that note yes this video is going to go up on my youtube channel so make sure you're subscribed to the youtube channel you can search up bahati life and um i'm just i love you guys so much and i'm so happy to be back and i will see you in my next video bye my next video my next astro live chat
and my next video. <laughs>